What's up, country hobbyist fans? Both of you? <laughs> uh, That's a short video. I just wanted to show uh, how these old dudes are doing today. Just uh, dripping away here. All right, so here we are. Uh, end of February, Indiana, and just dropping some some sap. This this bucket is just from today, so I I emptied them this morning. They're still frozen, and <clears throat> and they've been today's been a good day. Uh, I collected about 30 gallons yesterday, but check this one out. It's like a leaky faucet. It's in there kind of crooked. Ugh. Look how clear that sap is, though. I bet a lot of you guys would think, I get this a lot, that sap is, you know, thick like you would see in, uh, like a, um, a pine tree or something, but maple sap, what we use for maple syrup is 98% is water most of the time. So uh, it runs clear. It's Well, because it's mostly water. It's not thick. It runs fast. Look at that drip speed. That's pretty cool. I also like to point out, I don't know if I can get this, but right here, see that little dude? February. That's a stinking mosquito just goes to show we can't get rid of our stinking mosquitoes I only have three of these buckets um, trees on buckets I only have three uh, buckets trees on buckets that hang like this uh, they're smaller and and so I put them in my front yard um, it's not that there's a problem with these buckets it actually makes you go out and collect every day but there's times where I just don't have time to collect every day I've used this process and, and this normally works kind of good for us uh, coming off of a tap here and I showed this in our last video of tapping down into a bucket and it just comes into the top and this just helps keep uh, see there's no bugs or anything in this one those mosquitoes you wouldn't think it but this just, well my my gimbal just died that's just how my day is gonna be uh, but that's these buckets uh, help me because that's five gallons so I don't have to collect every day it helps keep things out of the the you know bugs out so I don't have as much debris and bugs and stuff to worry about and uh, I don't know they're easier to handle <clears throat> these metal buckets these hanging buckets or even bags I mean what's cool about them is you can see them filling up uh, better than what those you know plastic buckets are but um, I like to, I don't know, not have to get <clears throat> out every day to do this. Uh, not that I'm lazy, it's just there's other things and I let the trees do their work. So to collect them is pretty easy. We just pull off and we dump it into a five gallon bucket. The cool thing about the buckets is I, I hope you can hear it. <laughs> I get all three of them doing. I just kind of enjoy how fast that's going. Just collecting sap, baby. Collecting sap. Um, I do like that. Uh, but I just like to dump, you know, into a five gallon bucket, like here. And then I like to find a snowy, shady place to store it. Sap will spoil, uh, just like milk will. So you got to keep it cold. Um, we're going to run this through the RO, so I'll do a video on it, but that's it, guys. Just collecting sap today. Exciting. Boom. We're getting real close to boiling. Just a couple days, we'll be boiling away. So, boom. Awesome. Uh, Indiana maple syrup 2021. It's a good, good time of year. It's like Christmas for old bearded guys. Thanks, guys. See you soon.